What's up, Aquarius? This is Star. I'm here to do your October reading. Let's see what messages you have for this month. All right. I'm seeing pretty positive things here. Which is good because these readings have been crazy. <laughs> so it would be nice to end because you're my last reading that I'm doing. So it would be nice to end it on a good note. We're using the Kipperish Oracle deck by Intuitive Kev. All right, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. What are the messages? We have Rich Guy. This could be a King of Pentacles energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, which is something about stability. All right, we have Health Concern. Expectation. Oops. Hmm. Abandonment. Self love. Entity attachment. Mentally and emotionally unstable. False documents. What happened? <laughs> when I was shuffling, everything looked okay. Get one more card. Animosity. And at the bottom we have change. I feel like for you, maybe things are going well, but um, there could be somebody around you who is not taking that too well. Um, they're kind of losing their shit. <laughs> um, you know, some people are, they're okay as long as you're not doing better than they are. And I have a feeling that's what this is about. Um, so let's take a look. Who is this rich guy? Yeah. So this rich guy is the opposition. Um, again, this can be, but it doesn't have to be uh, an earth sign person, a Taurus, a Leo. A Leo? No. I mean, it could be a Leo. I don't even know why I said that. But it, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. It's interesting. Um, opposition is the number eight. And number eight is August, which is Leo. So it could be Leo. I don't know.
Okay. Awakening soulmate. Family. This could be somebody in your family. Okay. It could be a soulmate, but not the good kind. Um, this is somebody who is jealous of you, who is against you. They're in competition. What's health concern? Abundance. Poverty. Yeah. Relationship. So this could be any kind of relationship. Uh, romantic or family. Yeah. Any relationship where there is an exchange of love. Um, again, I feel like this person's health, whether it be mental health, um, physical health, has been affected by the difference in... Um, or the disparity in, in financial situation between themselves and you. So again, I feel like for you, things are going well. For them, not so much. And they're, they are very materialistic. They're very about status. And so they cannot stand the fact that maybe you are doing a lot better than they are. Because it's not what they were expecting. Let's see what this expectation this is the type of person who's always comparing themselves to other people. And that's that's very dangerous. Okay, we have manipulation here with expectation. Divination. Oh, okay. Oops. Voodoo. Okay, so this person um, has been practicing some some of the dark arts, um, or I shouldn't say arts, but they've been doing some dark magic and waiting to see if it works. They've been waiting to hear back. Maybe they have people watching you, um, letting them know if it takes effect. Maybe they're waiting to see if somebody leaves you, if there's conflict in your life. Whoa. Hold on, let me pick that up. I'm going to put that back. Occupation. They want to see if they if you lose your job so that you lose your financial standing, your financial abundance, because right now you're single, sexy, and successful, and they cannot stand it. It's making them literally sick. Whoa. So they, they want to create, like they want to, um, I don't know if they did some type of spell or something to make you um, difficult, to make you uh, fight or something, um, have some, some sort of argument at your job, and maybe walk out and lose your job. Yeah, end your job. Maybe make you quit your job or um, have you get fired. Self-love, we have pathway. You have some kind of like special destiny. Some kind of mission. You were meant to be a person of leadership. Yeah, you have some kind of gift, blessing. And you are ascending.
you are unbothered. Yeah, you're being asked to practice self-love and to continue being unbothered by this person. You probably already know who this person is, most of you for the most part. Just focus on yourself. What is entity attachment? Love offer. Ice king. Hmm. House. Yeah, this person is close to you. I don't I, I feel like for a lot of you it's a family member. So it may be difficult for you to stay away from this person because they keep um, trying to reach out. Um, for some of you who may have lived with this person, they may be trying to send messages to you. Surprise. You may be surprised that they try to reach out to you. This is out of desperation because they see you moving on. So when they feel that you're detaching your energy from them, the entity that they have attached to them almost like pushes their hand, forces them um, to send you a message. So just be aware of that. They may even show up at your house. They are mentally and emotionally unstable. This person could have been born in 1976. They are obsessed. That's because they have an entity attachment. There could be a third party situation. So they could be involved with other people or be working with other people against you. Veil. Yeah. See behind the veil. Because they will try to portray themselves as um, a loving person, but they're not. Whoa. Healer. Um, your energy is very attractive because you have healing energy. You're also very intuitive. And that's why they're obsessed with your energy. It's very powerful. So it's the reason why they're obsessed, and it's also the reason why they hate you. So just understand that. It's like two sides of the coin. This is false documents. Destruction. False narrative. False information. So, I don't know. They were they were spreading some kind of um, false information, rumors or whatever to destroy you, to destroy your reputation, to destroy everything about you. They wanted to destroy your career. Um, what else? I feel like you, you might have um, a past life connection with this person. And so there may be an agreement between the two of you that this person uh, was destined to come into your life to try to create this situation, to create destruction in your life um, in order for you to grow spiritually. So even though it's really fucked up, that was, that was the intent.
abuse, wow. Emotional pain, yeah, this person has set out to cause you destruction and emotional pain. Mm. With these false allegations. Yeah, North Node, South Node. So you're following your purpose, and this person is stuck in their South Node. Travel. Again, something very karmic. Of, I, I feel like this is a karmic contract. I keep kind of, kind of picking that up. So you may have been enemies through various lifetimes. There's unfinished karma between the two of you. Maybe you sense this. Maybe you know this about this person, animosity, emotional pain, yeah, confusion, illusion, oh, let me move this, here we are, faith, You're the light and they are the darkness. So they resent the fact that even though they cause you all this destruction and emotional pain, you continue um, loving yourself. You continue having faith. You continue believing in you know whatever it is that you believe in, in God, in the universe, in a higher power. Divine Feminine. You believe in yourself. No matter what you go through, what kind of abuse, what kind of um, emotional suffering. And they cannot stand that about you. They can't stand your strength. Let's see what lies beneath. There's just no comparison between the two of you. And that's what, that's what they hate. Like, literally, this makes them sick. They could be in and out of the hospital. What does Aquarius need to know? Promiscuous. Somebody's promiscuous. They sleep around. Okay. We have caution. Look, this is interesting. I hate nothing about you. That's really the truth. They know that there is nothing to hate about you. <laughs> and that's what irks them the most. They want to be you. So that's really the problem. Already knowing the T. You know what you need to know about them. Look, we have caution and we have police. So this person, I feel like they're not all there. And we have bugaboo. I looked this up the other day and because I didn't know what the hell it meant. And it's something like something that causes fear, but it's, it, it's like it's unsubstantiated. Like there's no reason to fear it. 
So this person might just be a danger to themselves rather than other people. Okay, they're just very, very insecure. But let's see. What's caution? with the two of wands three of pentacles someone's plans you see how this guy is um, it's like you're making plans for the future and this this person is watching yeah mm. I don't know if this could be at work for some of you this could be at work someone's watching you work or while you work or this could be during your day-to-day -day, um, activities whatever it is what else for caution King of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Need to watch out for. And the Five of Swords. Yeah, this person has a lot of animosity toward you. Um, they could be highly manipulative. One more. Queen of Swords. Yeah, just keep an eye out. Again, I, I, I don't feel like this is something to be too concerned about. This is just like about knowing who you are um, and just being vigilant because this person is just, mm, they're just kind of a weirdo. Let's see police. What's police got to do with this? Queen of Wands. Again, Fire Energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Leo. Remember I said Leo in the beginning? Something about Leo. This could be like, have confidence to um, bring this to the attention of police if you need to. Don't be afraid to if you feel the need. Okay, we have the King of Pentacles. The world. Someone's very threatened by your um, the confidence that you exhibit in your career, your success. Yeah. I'm getting like some kind of statement. You might have to get, like file some kind of report, a police report or give a statement or something like have the confidence to do that is what I'm seeing here. Especially if there's something coming up here about, yeah, look at this. We have here ascending. There's something like either some of you are going to get a promotion or someone here is graduating or there's going to there's some kind of ascension something about having some sort of victory being recognized um the spotlight being on you somehow 
Okay, so um, I feel like if you feel in danger or you don't feel safe, um, let someone know or get security or um, get someone. You need to let someone know. Okay, use your intuition because um, yeah, person is weird. Okay, so already knowing the T. I, I, okay, let me just say that before I move on. I don't, I'm not getting the feeling like this person is going to harm you. I feel like this is more to put this person on the radar, on the authorities' radar. That's more so what this is. To discourage any kind of stupidity okay what's the t already knowing the t what's the t all right we have the two of cups we have the three of wands seven of swords Devil. And Seven of Swords again. Yeah. There's something that you um you had suspicions about that this person had done to you and you are soon going to get confirmation of that. This person tends to victimize people who are closest to them. I feel like this person doesn't do that to people that they don't know or that they're not close to because they're, they're too afraid. Um, you know, they, they only do it to people close to them because they feel like those people will not turn them in or will not, you know, like they'll have compassion. Um, those are the people that they abuse is people who have some kind of emotional attachment to them. That's who they victimize. Or that they know, you know. but you're getting confirmation about something. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, some of you. Yeah. Okay, I hate nothing about you. Queen of Pentacles. This person admires your money-making skills. They see you as very put together. Whoa, okay. Yeah, um, they feel like you're very resourceful uh, and that you're always going to do the right thing. That you're always very fair. But they felt that you were an easy target. Because they also see you as very generous. They just, they don't see any negative traits in you. Uh, really, they see you as someone, someone like I said, very generous, um, very fair, very honest, and very resourceful. So it's kind of like uh, this Robin Hood mentality. Like they feel like you don't need, like you have plenty, you don't need, 
Um, even if they take from you, you can always find more. Like if they steal money from you, you can always get more because you're well off or you're smart. You know what I mean? Like it's okay if they betray you because you'll be all right. <laughs> they see themselves as a victim. So they somehow... Uh, Justify whatever they do. Let's see, Bugaboo. Wheel of Fortune. Hermit. Knight of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. And the Eight of Wands. Okay, so again, with the Wheel of Fortune and the Hermit, I am getting the sense, what I was saying before with this uh, karmic contract, that's why I feel this is a bugaboo. It's 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 a person. It's sort of like a monster that was put into your life, but it's not really. Yeah, they were meant to hurt you, but they're not meant to destroy you. They're actually put into your life. They're they're here by destiny. They're they're karmically here to help you grow spiritually. Um. To help you find your strength, uh, your your to help you see who you truly are, all all your strengths, um, to see who you, what you're really about, what you can accomplish, um, and I feel like this is something that you have done over many lifetimes. It's not the first time, so. This is this is something that has been communicated or has been talked about. How do I say it? Yeah, it's it's been communicated between the two of you, like between your souls before you even arrived here. Um, so there really isn't anything to fear per se. It's just something that you were destined to go through with this person. So they are so, sort of a soulmate, but it's not its not the romantic soulmate that Disney tries to sell to us. That's not, that's not what it is. Um, but they are a soulmate of yours. It's just a karmic soulmate. All right. So let's see what the message from the universe is for you, Aquarius. Okay, so we got <laughs> the past is behind you now, so drop the fears and doubts. Even though you may feel a little uncomfortable at the moment and slightly anxious over what's coming next, you are being urged to bring yourself back to the present moment. Your recent prayers have been heard and you are currently being worked on. Yes, so I feel like this um, situation is getting ready to close out for you. So just be patient. Um, let's see at the bottom. We have no matter what happens, no matter how far you seem to be away from where you want to be, never stop believing that you will somehow make it. Have an unrelenting belief that things will work out, that the long road has a purpose. Yes, this situation definitely had a purpose and it was destined to happen in your life. 
Okay, Aquarius, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.